to get doing, Rosie. There's nothing to talk about, Barney. I want to go away. I want to be left alone. You ain't the kind to be alone. Look, Barney, I've had enough. I just can't go on like this anymore. I want to start all over again. A new town, new faces, a new me. A woman like you can't change any more than I could. We're cut from the same deck of cards, you and me. Get those traveler notions out of your pretty little head. Barney, I'm packed and ready to go. And this time, I'm not changing my mind. I bet I could change your mind for you. You always have. No, Barney. Don't make me lose my temper, Rose. You know what happens. You've hit me for the last time. Why, you little... you buy again. I couldn't get this lazy old cayuse of mine to run any faster if I tied a Roman candle to his tail. He's just plain hard no stubborn. I think he's got a little jackass in him. They say horses like dogs take on the characteristics of their owners. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> morning, George. Hi, Sheriff. Well, who won this morning? Guess. <laughs> Let's have a couple of coffees, George. Uh -huh. Broken to have I cast off, cast down. In Talk about sweet taffy. Yeah, she came in yesterday and asked for a job. So she sang for me and I hired her. She's pretty good, huh? Once yeah, she's got a pretty good voice. In lonesome town. The road always leads, the sign always reads, lonesome, lonesome town. Thank you. You too. Thanks, Pete. That was wonderful. See you tonight. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Why so sad? I'm a singer of sad songs. Well, I haven't heard a voice like yours since I, I left St. Louis. Oh? You from St. Louis? Well, not exactly. I played a tent show there once while we were doing the Mid East Circuit. You're in show business? Well, I was. I'm deputy sheriff here. Name's Cully. I didn't notice the badge. Yeah. What's your name? Rana, now, if you'll excuse me, Sheriff, I have to go now. I open tonight. Well, I'll take you back to your room. Oh, you tin stars are all alike. You think that badge gives you the right to grab? I'm just trying to be friendly, ma'am. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. I'd be pleased if you escorted me to my room. What's her story, George? I don't know, Johnny. I asked a few questions, but she was pretty roundabout with the answers. Would you like to come inside? Oh, no, thanks. Someone might get the wrong idea. I wouldn't like it if they said something about you that wasn't nice. Thank you. I'll tell you what. It gets nice and cool around sunset. How would you like to go for a ride? I promised to get you back in time for your show. I think I'd like that. Well, that's fine. Well, then I'll see you at six.
you two looking at? Phew! What'd you do, take a bath in that bay room? Ah, oh, Cully, you really look very nice. Thank you very much, Laura. See you about seven. I come up here often. I like to watch the sun disappear behind that flat top mountain over there. It makes long, cool shadows on the canyon floor. <laughs> well, look. Mm hmm. It's just like a painting in a gold gilt frame. Yeah. Cully, tell me about yourself. Well, I've been on my own since I was 11, traveling with carnival mud shows. I was a trick shot artist. <sighs> you can't be much over 19 now. Traveled a lot, met a lot of people, saw a lot of things. Experience can make a man older than his years. Woman, it shows in her face. You have a very pretty face. I'm going to be 24 soon. This Friday, as a matter of fact. I look older, don't I? No, you don't. I'm glad I came to Villardi and met you, Cully. I'd forgotten a man could be sweet and gentle and still be a man. I've forgotten a lot of nice things. You better get back. I have a show to do. this time, Laura. I think she's a very nice girl. Yeah, but... Anyway, every man has to settle down, sooner or later. Now, that's a leading statement. <laughs> don't you believe that? Yes, I do. But I don't know. She's pretty old for him. I only hope he keeps a level head. 
Uh, Rana, this scratch bird is delicious. Oh, what a scratch bird. Uh, yeah, that's, that's chicken. Mm. <laughs> I tell you, I've known him for some time now, and most of the time I don't know what he's talking about. Sometimes it's better that way. <laughs> she understands me. Come on, Johnny, let's go. Go where? Well, let's go take a walk. A walk? Johnny, come on. Oh, I like them. Oh, they're the best. She'll land them one day. She's smart. She's letting them play out. You know, I remember hearing of a gunslinger named Johnny Ringo. Must have been a different man. No, that was Johnny. But he doesn't seem that kind of man. He rode south of the law once. That's behind him. That ten stars his whole life now, that and Laura. Past is forgotten. I believe in leaving it that way. Do you mean that, Cully? Well, like Johnny says, past is nothing but a hole filled with dead yesterdays. You know, you don't really know very much about me. My name isn't Rana Desmond. It's Rosemary Blake. Oh, yeah? When I was in the carny, I used a professional name, too. Kid Adonis. I'm afraid I did it for a different reason. I did it because... Look, look, I, I know you're nice and you're pretty and talented and, and we're together. So what else is there? My father died when I was born. And my mother... Well, she wasn't exactly what you'd call a lady. Ronnie, you don't have to... I ran away from home when I was 16. I worked as a waitress for a couple of years. Then I met a man, Barney Chisholm. He got me a job in a saloon singing. He was nice, and I was lonely. I guess I've always been lonely as long as I can remember. I started going with him, and he looked after me. All right. Now, let's forget it. You're young, Cully. No, it's true. There's so much you don't know about women. Or what a man like Barney means. He was selfish, crude, mean. I tried to get away from him, but he wouldn't let me go. I loved my mother. But I despised what she was. And then I realized Barney was making the same thing out of me. And now there's me. What's more important, the past or us? Us. Then forget about this, Chisholm. And I'll do the same thing. It's just that he may come looking for me. And I wouldn't want you to get in trouble. Maybe I'm young, Rana. But I've been looking for something for a long time. Now that I've found it, nobody's gonna take it away from me. Nobody. Where have you been? You finished? Mm -hmm. well, let's go. Where are we going? To your room. I'll get my wrap. I'll wait. Stand there, say something. Well, I, I don't know what to say. I, I've never had a birthday party or a, a cake. Or... It was Cully's idea. Make a wish and blow out all the candles, and then your wish will come true. I don't have to blow out the candles. Cully, thank you so much. Well, go ahead, blow out the candles. Sure did. Oh, and Cully, my bracelet. 
It's just beautiful. And the cake and, and the party and well, everything. Well, good night. And happy birthday again. Thank good you. Night, good night, Ron. Let's go, Carly. Johnny! You my girl? Of course I am. Remember that. Well, I'm sorry, but there's no Rosemary Blake registered here. I know she's here. A friend of mine saw her take the Velarde stage. Well, maybe she's staying over at Ma Smith's. No, I checked there. I guess I'll wander over to the saloon. I'll find her. Say, I'll bet that, that bracelet sets you back $20. 22 Are you really serious about her, Kelly? I think I'm in love with her. She's not like the other girls I've known, Johnny. I can feel it. There's something way down deep inside. It's, it's warm and comfortable, yet it's, it's restless, you know what I mean? Yeah. You like her, don't you? Oh, of course I do, but... But what? Well, for one thing, she's older than you. Oh, so what's a few years? We're both over 50, we'll never know the difference. Cully, Rona is... Well, she's like you said. She's not like the other girls you've known. I'd say she's been around for some time. Yeah, since she was 16. What are you trying to say? I wouldn't try to say anything if you were just a little older. Look, Cully. I like Rona. I think she's a beautiful girl, and I like her. But for you, well, 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 that's a different story. Why not for me? You don't know that much about older women, especially women like Rana. What do you mean, women like Rana? Oh, don't start jumping to conclusions. No, I'm listening. Well, Rana is... Sh Sheriff, there's a gunslinger in town. I thought I recognized him, but I didn't know for sure. And then I remembered. I was in Las Cruces when he killed two men. Who is he? Chisholm. Chisholm. Barney Chisholm? Yeah, I know him. He's a paid gun, one of the worst. He was asking for a Rosemary Blake. Thanks, Sam. He won't be around town long. Cully, I'm going to take the east half of town. You take the other. This is Chisholm. What does he look like? Oh, he's big, over six feet. Dark hair, wears expensive clothes. Easily spotted by one of two things, usually both. What's that? Fast gun and fast woman. Faces, new town, same old Barney. Get out of here, Barney. Is that all you got to say to me? You haven't seen me in a long time. Oh, it's nice, real nice. I could be comfortable here. You know, I heard him talking at the saloon about the new singer. They had me fooled. They said she had dark hair. I like you better with golden hair. Oh, and your name, Rana. <laughs> Too fancy. So help me, Barney, if you don't get out of here, I'll... You'll what? Now listen, you little wild cat, you took a hunk of my hide out with a bullet. You better be nice to me or I'll mess up your pretty little face. But I'm willing to forgive and forget. I'm not the only woman in the world. Can't you find someone else? I don't want anybody else. I found something in this town. I found happiness for the first time in my life. Don't take it away from me, please. What's his name? What's his name? You cheap little... <laughs> Rose, I'm sorry I hit you. But you're mine and you always will be. Oh, you don't have to tell me now. We'll wait till morning, huh? Yeah, that's what we'll do. It'll be better then. Get away from her, Chisholm. Cully, get out of here. Him? This sniveling kid, you and him? Get up. Cully, please leave. I said to get up. Oh, now, look, boy, I don't know who is fool enough to pin a star on you, because you're going to make an awfully young corpse. Look, kid, can't you take a hint? I told you to go. Three's a crowd. 
I hate to do this, Sonny. Okay, so we had a picnic for a week or so. It's all over now. Leave us alone, will you? No, Barney! trash. You'll be all right, Rana. You're gonna be just fine. Kelly, my bracelet, it's gone. Shh. I want it, Kelly. I want to feel it on my wrist. in a gold gilt frame. Kelly, you've got a lot of years ahead of you. You'll get over this. I don't want to get over it. Memories are expensive things. You pay for them with chunks of your life. I'll be all right, Johnny. But it'll take a while. Trouble was all that he found Face to 
face with a man set to prove that he could shoot Ringo down. Ringo, Johnny Ringo, his fears were never shown. The fastest gun in all the West, the quickest ever known. talk about Barney. I want to go away. I want to be left alone. You ain't the kind to be alone. Look, Barney, I've had enough. I just can't go on like this anymore. I want to start all over again. A new town, new faces, a new me. A woman like you can't change any more than I could. We're cut from the same deck of cards, you and me. Get those traveler notions out of your pretty little head. Barney, I'm packed and ready to go. And this time, I'm not changing my mind. I bet I could change your mind for you. I always have. No, Barney! Don't make me lose my temper, Rose. You know what happens. You've hit me for the last time. Why, you little... you buy again. I couldn't get this lazy old cayuse of mine to run any faster if I tied a Roman candle to his tail. He's just plain hard-nosed stubborn. I think he's got a little jackass in him. They say horses like dogs take on the characteristics of their owners. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> morning, George. Hi, Sheriff. Well, who won this morning? Guess. <laughs> Let's have a couple of coffees, George. Uh -huh. Broken to have I cast off, cast down. In Talk about sweet taffy. Yeah, she came in yesterday and asked for a job. So she sang for me and I hired her. She's pretty good, huh? Yeah, she's got a pretty good voice. In lonesome town.